When did you start fighting the fascists? What, at what point in your life did, did that happen? I think it's around the early 60s, 61, 62, nothing later than 62, um, which when these fascists held these meetings, which were virulently anti-Semitic, and I mean really virulently anti-Semitic, protected in fact by the police in those days, we used to, and I was part of a group that we would break those meetings up. Now in those days people didn't have knives and they didn't have guns. Uh, it was physical. Um, but we did take them off the streets over a period of time. We frustrated them in things that they were doing by way of intelligence. We we broke up their meetings physically, etc. And it was necessary to do. And although the so-called Jewish establishment at the time did not approve and regarded us a bunch of Jewish thugs and hooligans. The fact that life is, and the police didn't like us either because the police were protecting the fascists in those days, uh, there was a job to be done and we had to do it and we were committed, dedicated young men. I suppose we leaned more to the left in those days than to the right. Uh, certainly that was so as far as I was concerned. Um, and we did what we had to do and I, I'm not ashamed of it, I'm not embarrassed about it, uh, and that is really how I, was, I got involved, how we then developed from the 62 group, we developed Jacob, which was Jewish Aid Committee of Britain, which in turn became GRET, Group Relations Educational Trust, and then subsequently became CST into the organisation which I'm very proud to chair today. So, you know, I've, I've I've personally been involved in the fight against anti-Semitism, uh, fascism, and any other ism that affects our community for 50 years. How did CST get formed and what is it? Well, CST is a Community Security Trust, which is an organization which is responsible for looking after the 700 buildings, which are schools, synagogues, and the like, up and down the country. It's a national organization with 3,500 volunteers, most probably I think we've got something like 55 professional, professional people based in offices in London, Manchester, Liverpool, Glasgow, and uh, is involved in dealing with issues of anti-Semitism which covers a whole broad sector, whether it be on campus, whether it be with youth, whether it be protecting synagogues, whether it be the physical protection or mechanical protection, i.e. CCTV, plasticizing windows, liaison with all uh, different authorities vis-a-vis -vis the police, etc. And is a very responsible organization, a very responsible organization managed by very responsible people. Now, you know, it isn't what well, I could say we might have been a bunch of raggle-taggle gypsies 50 years ago, but the world's moved on and so have the areas and of the work of CST. You know, today you have the, the left who were friends, great friends of ours in fighting the issues many years ago, today have moved to the left, which in many ways is anti a lot of the work we do. The same with the right, the right wing, which faded away, has emerged back, different colours, BMP, as they see themselves today, and although they say we're not anti-Semitic, but it's the same Jew haters, the same nasty people as there were back in those days, which was the British National Party. Um, and, you know, whether it be Mr. Jordan, who it was in those days, and Irving subsequently is, a lot of very unsavory people. These are unsavory people. These are people that are a poison in our society.